beer and and like shotgun it right you'll take like car keys and like pop it yeah like kill the thing they did that to him but with a can of spray paint <laughs> oh, dude. dude anything to catch the buzz <laughs> which is me so the goal the goal is to make him into pepe the frog right yeah. <laughs> so they, they take this whole can of spray paint and they're just like boom <sighs> And they like insta paint his whole face. I think they could have used the spray part. They wanted. He's resisting Woody. We don't have time. <laughs> I don't just, know. The spray part is pretty good at painting. But, they are but... essentially raping his face with paint. <laughs> <laughs> he wants no part of any of this. And they wow. are and they are live streaming it to the audience. And he is begging them to stop. And it's sometimes sometimes he'll like get enough energy in him to like really go to town on one of them and like and like. You know how it's like to hit a heavy bag. Like even mm-hmm. even like when we're in shape, it's it's like whoo. Oh, you wear out quick. Couple minutes and you're dead. Couple he's got seconds. a couple seconds. Yeah, he, he's got one of these in him, and he'll rough him up a little bit. But then he's like down for the count again. <laughs> They're on him. They're on him like fucking uh, like like Andy Dufresne. I'm very dangerous for ten out of ten seconds out of every five yeah. minutes. Yeah, like like every now and then he's like this like gorilla who's been who's been tranquilized and he just comes out of it and, he, <laughs> and he's on one of them. And, and when they've accepted it, they they go, "Don't hit back. Don't get hit back." Because like they'll let him beat on them a little because they know he's going to go back down and then get right back on him with the paint. So they, when they're done, he is full on Pepe the Frog with like big white silver out- outlines <laughs> around his and, and he wakes up and he's just like, what is this? What is this? Oh, looking back, the silver, I think, was the spray paint. And maybe they, they I think they used like the glue you use to like paint a construction model <laughs> to like paint his face green because he wakes up and, you know, he's all green and shit. And it's he's all, all over his clothes. And, and like, we, I know we've talked about his Pepe face before, but like, <laughs> he, thank God they used green because they gave him some big red Al Jolson 1917 lips yeah, in did. that. Yeah, brown would have been a bad look. That would have been, ho- dude. Imagine like, like that being a prank you play on someone is like he's gonna wake up and it's gonna ruin his entire life. Oh, no. he's, gonna, he's gonna wake up with black. We used sharpie paint. It's it's acrylic. Paint, it's gonna tear. It's either this is his look, look or he's got no face skin. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of Blade. Um, every now and then someone goes, "Have you seen what happened with Blade?" And I'm like, "No." And like, and then they send me the link. That's this is how it goes down. Yeah. Um <laughs> so like I don't I don't know what he's been up to lately, but I would bet real money that he has done blackface before. Actually, let me Google only use me blade blackface. Ooh, okay. Let's take bets. Let's take bets. I, I have two and a half dollars says he <laughs> not the full five. Don't go nuts. Two and a half dollars say no blackface. Oh, hold on. I'll say five dollars. Uh if if someone else painted it on him, does that count or no? Oh yeah, it counts. Oh, that makes this way harder. Uh, I'm still gonna go no. It has to be a different answer. No, he hasn't. I think he's done it. I think he's done it. So two fifty to each of you is what I'm going to do. All uh, right. That way I'm out five dollars. Only use me play blade black face. Only <laughs> use me <laughs> blade black face. This is a black fun game. <laughs> Come on, no. Come on. I, I'll look up and see. I, I'm looking like I'm I'm digging through the the internet. Nope, I'm I, seeing a lot of pictures of Blade, and a, and some of us reacting to him as well. Earlier, oh, poor uh, guy. Well, I, it doesn't look like he's done blackface. I will. Yes! I, I only have to pay. I only have to pay you if no one puts blackface on him this week. <laughs> no, no, this is bullshit. You can't you can't conscript an Taylor? army of racists. <laughs> to do this for you (laughs) tell that to the tell that to the president of the united states taylor uh, a link to a a clip i guess from maybe a month or so i don't know but it was of blade and someone only used me blade a profoundly alcoholic man who who drinks more than most people we uh, a lot and i got linked to a clip and like i have nothing i have no relationship with him at all at all you and like there was a clip about like yeah met him and said hello like that was we we really didn't chat that much it was most I was I was a I was a nothing in 2011 in Boston when we showed up I was this fucking you know 
young kid and like you guys were the real ones like chatting and all that kind of stuff but like they sent someone sent me a link and they were like hey someone asked about pka talking about wing or uh blade and he responded to it and of course he's fucking wasted his shit and he's like pka yeah woody and kyle they're always saying nice things about me but taylor that guy's a weirdo and i was like we don't even know each other like i'm a weirdo like uh, I, I don't think that's fair friend he's like he he smoked weed in 2011 and walked into a closet and it's like yeah i was fucked up and i walked into a room <laughs> thinking i thought it was the bathroom and it wasn't and then i went oh man i'm fucked up and i left and went and then found the bathroom it's like I don't think that makes me a strange weirdo. No, no, there are other things that a, make you a strange weirdo. There's a lot of things why. that make me a strange weirdo. I was hoping you wouldn't uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that. But no, I, I, I'm, I'm so hurt by that. I'm unbelievably hurt. Hmm. I, it, it, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just really pleased guy. he's never heard any of the bad things we've said about him because I always preface when I talk about he him, has, he doesn't like, remember. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. I, I always, I start by saying. I like the guy that the only use me blade used to be. And then I finished by saying the guy he is now is a real wreck. Yeah. Um, because that's kind of the deal. He's, he's, he's real in real rough shape. Medically. He looks like he's going to die yeah. soon. He just, Not to just, mention ethically. You remember that time that he molested that girl borderline in the back of that uh, RV van when he went back there and grabbed her all up. Remember in that? fairness, she barely remembers. That. Remember that? No, she claimed, she claimed it. And we all saw it on video. <laughs> remember that? Do y'all remember that? Do you remember I, when he, uh, when he, when he broke that girl unclear. laying in the bed? Man, I think that's kind of weird behavior, don't you? I think that's a little and weird. I, don't, I would say I, it's almost legally troubling. <laughs> I don't think we this need to be like... This is why he doesn't like you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> you know, Call the I, ATF I on him. Yeah, mm. I don't... Thank God those guys don't have weapons on that fucking RV that they all seem to live on. Um, no, I, I still like some of the content. It's a little sad, but I, you'll Do, see... Yeah. Dude, they spray painted his face to look like that that Pepe the Frog, and he and he <laughs> thought it was like I don't know art paint, but it was like just fucking Krylon. <laughs> like, like, <Yeah. laughs> they they paint bombed him one time. They like took a paint can and like you know how you like pop a beer and like shock on it. Yeah, like they did that to a can of spray paint and stuck it in his face and just. <laughs> <laughs> like instantly because <laughs> he's a, he's passed out drunk so he's like you know easy to do that sort of thing too <laughs> it's, yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty depressing life <laughs> <laughs> so, you know that's a good picture Zach. That's, <laughs> it's time he didn't know that they were doing that to him <laughs> yet he was you, know, like, you know what's funny <laughs> is that's the best picture of him in the past 12 years <laughs> that's the most flattering photo <laughs> This he should be the stand in if Wings or Boogie don't show up for the fight. You're put so some gloves right. on that man. Yeah, he should be. Dude. He'd let's die get on the fight way promotion in. Like business. He, All right, let me ask he's you. He's too this. sick. What would it take for us to legally put on a boxing match or what? Little gumption, little stick to itiveness. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean Can't character traits, hard. you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta pull myself up by my own bush cap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a crap guy. Yeah, it right sounds like something you can do on a quiet afternoon. Have. Have. We'll get Ed involved. <laughs> He'll give us credibility. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll let Ed well, talk you, to the well, you ladies did. and gentlemen. Accountability <laughs> and the liability. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> yeah. And Kyle, you can be that guy. I can be the 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 announcer guy. Yeah. yeah. I think Mike. you do a good job. Don't oh, you? I would. Oh, I would absolutely do a good job. Ed would be. Too. You, you probably like, need some more legitimate sponsors than your uh, normal crop. Oh, <laughs> more than cum pills? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Drugs you order online. Uh, <laughs> 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 wow. That's not up to snuff for old Ed. <laughs> My man's sponsored by fucking Toyota and shit. <laughs> yeah. you do, do you guys not? Wear bong makers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't, you're not sponsored by the bong that you put in the fucking freezer. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, you were mentioning before the show that Only Use Me Blade is doing really, really well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. no, there's, I actually thought you were serious for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Billy no, Tucker I was is just, not on the show enough. <laughs> I was just thinking about this dude today. You're adorable. <laughs> All right, well, let me hear. <laughs> Anytime no, we talk about well. Blade, I like to preface the conversation by saying, Blade, if you hear this, I'll never forget when you pull those blunts out of your pocket that you roll right through internet um, airport security with to Seattle in and his camera bag. 
in his pocket right oh, he here. brought him in his camera bag to pax east so i guess he was getting better yeah this was fucking <laughs> seattle this was west yeah, okay. so, so, yeah dude never gave a fuck always had weed on our trips always mm -hmm. offered it freely always very funny always drinking boisterous he was the drunk loud guy but never the drunk loud bully guy okay Can I tell my blade mm -hmm. story real quick it, it, yeah. it's in line with what you're saying we're there we're at this dinner there's like 16 people at the, at the table right and blade is like hitting shots and the waitress goes up to him and she's like ah, your bill's like 85 dollars, you know for his drinks and he goes ah one more and it was just so fucking baller to me like anyone else would have been like what did i do he's like ah one short huh and he had just one more shot and called it good and and <laughs> he was that's just... when he got shit housed at like pf chang's wasn't it we were at PF Chang's and he been. was fucking tanks was this, sitting was there. Was this when was this you were there? East? Yeah. No, the, the one yeah. where we were at the uh, uh -huh. skating rink. And you then were there. He, yeah, yeah, the guy. That's the, the night. It's fucking two a, one a.m. and we're walking through a skating rink area and there's like a woman and her baby and she like is pushing her child and like it hits on Blade and Blade's like, oh, we should go back. You should come back to our hotel room or something like that. I was like, okay. Well, I, I'm, 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 woman I'm 18 child. years old. I would like yeah. to. I would like to go to my hotel. Room. I was fucking 25. I was down. So yeah. Kyle, I interrupted. You were you were saying kind Sorry, things about yeah. Blade oh, before the before the take. Yeah, down. yeah. Like, like, like every, <laughs> no, no, no. I I like it. It kind of speaks to Blade's personality. He was always the loud, drunk, friendly guy. At at, at and and he wasn't always loud and drunk. He, he just kind of got that way toward the end of the night beginning of the night he was always real chill i'm like yeah I want amazingly cool. he's, he's like you just act like you belong and they let you through here yeah. like, like <laughs> anyway man it, you know i always hate when i see clips of him i it, it's one of those i don't want to look kind of things yeah, it's i know he's he's always you know, you know and you know it's, 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 i'm not his friend or anything to to like call him or like tell him what to do but every time i see him he looks worse um, you know, he'll look sometimes I'll see him and he'll look jaundiced, like maybe something's wrong with his liver even or maybe, he, you know, and he, he drinks so much. And they always show those pictures of his toe and his toe looks infected or rotten or gangrenous or something. And and then I hear, you know, you, you see him do all kinds of crazy shit. It, you know, there'll be rape allegations. And, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah you know, it's it a right? wild ride like because for a long time he's been living on a sexual assault uh, thing. It, maybe you don't know, but like. He nope. sort of spun off of Ice Poseidon's uh, I, The last thing I remember about him was he shoved his finger up his ass in like oh, on stream. So far, that was a he was he had <laughs> oh, it together. He had it together. That's way back when he then. had it together. Yeah, Lord, oh. uh, he's he a respectable indoors. member of society. He, he was indoors. <laughs> No wonder <laughs> no he was indoors he and it was, was a, a He was standing was on a real bottom. floor. I'm like, Tucker, he had an address in those days. In oh, those days, man. um, so he Ice Poseidon was doing the thing where he streamed from the the camper. That was they found that like, oh shit, people love to see us rolling down the road being jackasses and you know going to locations and whatever. And so, it, look, I don't follow Blake carefully enough to know the ins and outs of it, but what it seems to me is he lives in a camper now mm -hmm. with a bunch of people who are abusive to him. And he passes out every night, and then they abuse him in various ways. They're like, it's kind of funny, but they spray painted his face like Pepe the Frog, so he wakes up like <laughs> with his face that was spray funny. painted, like you with know, like actual he, paint. Yeah, with like Krylon, like 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 they they like they piss on him while it's, he's wait, asleep. Like, what, they what beat the, the shit out of him. If you um, like, if you have, there's seen been multiple like him. allegations. Yeah. I don't want to go like, you know, who, he, she well, there said, was a, basically there was a video things. that we watched. This is a couple of years ago now, I believe. But when he was on the ice Poseidon uh, RV, there was a time and Kyle jump in if I'm wrong that like, you know, the camera kind of showing the back lane from the front showing like the table and the microwave and back into the back room of the Winnebago or whatever. And at one point he got up and there was a girl like sleeping, resting in the back. And he like went over there and like got under the covers with her. And there was like movement and clear, not adjusting and getting comfortable to, for slumber movement. Like movement. I've and always so heard he got, that it was something about and she said like, it was sexual assault, right? Well, that's about that sounds, cut and dry then. Like, you know, <laughs> and like it was also on video, but which this is, is a pretty but how, good. So how, I mean, not how, because it's very obvious. So this was years ago. This, what this you're was talking a about years is ago, not. So, so his so Winnebago what the, life. How is he still, is he streaming? 
So he streams he's, yeah. from inside the camper. He had was it Paulie Shore he had on there the other day or was no no, no it, was it was Andy, Andy Dick. Andy Dick. Remember Andy, Andy Dick? Andy Dick. He, Andy, Andy Dick is Dick another has drug fallen, addict. Yeah. Has fallen to only using only using me blade levels. What He's, the yeah. fuck is going on? Yeah, I know. Dude, look it up. Andy Dick dude, and only use me blade are drunk on an RV you, together. What? If you, if you ever want Andy Dick to like come to your place on a stream and like humiliate himself, he'll do it. The guy who like was on like bucks. the guy who's been in like dozens yeah. of movies with yeah. like yeah. Like <laughs> actors. Yeah, I, I mean, I recognize him. I know his name. I'm saying I, for I, the I, audience's benefit, because like, I don't oh, know, yeah, if you're yeah, younger yeah. than us, like, you know, mm -hmm. you might not know who Andy what? Dick is. I mean, he was like an old comedian. What the fuck happened? So what, he go? He went over and hung out with Blade in his RV? Yeah. yeah. Like and they were, and, and Andy Dick what was as fuck? fucked up as That's Blade. Like, Andy yeah. Dick is like slurring, unable to like keep his like head up. He's out. Like, he's... I thought he's in as almost as bad to, a place as Blade. That's I thought Andy awful. Dick was going to be there to laugh at Blade, like ah, because he's usually like a quick-witted comedian. Like mm -hmm. I, that's how I've seen him. He's there, like looking like he's on methadone or something. They're both like tripping. Like, uh, well, yeah. dude, I watched. Uh, uh, Somebody's going to die on that stream, you know. Dude, someone is. Wait, like, wait, what platform? Uh, so if you go at uh, Blades, I, I just typed in O U M B only use me blade and i guess that's like one of his like dummy He's channels been... there's a stream from three days ago called sunday fun day jameson fire sales like and so he's just getting trapped like there's i don't i don't i mean i'm not gonna watch his stream but like because it's fucking sad but like, yeah this is it doesn't it is. seem like there's even the thought of content outside of getting destroyed who you on, know what it reminds me of know. shoe nice yeah 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 so well, you, i forgot you going. guys had a huge or i think you guys had a, 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 you. a yeah he called us a lesbian book club well who's <laughs> laughing now you're I'm probably not. dead is he i mean i i just see him on tiktok eating glue and shit you know to this day oh that's he's the still place. eating shit tiktok <laughs> is perfect for somebody like him because like you know it works like like, like he, he can eat something in 30 seconds and be just an awful human being i had no idea speaking of blade all right so i i was um <laughs> I was on, I think, Public Freakout. That's that's one of my favorite subreddits, and uh, I, I I like to find good videos for us to watch on there. Not not a lot of sad ones this week, um, but I was scrolling, and it was like streamer slapped in the face, blah 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 blah, and I was like, that looks like Blade. Safe and I guess. click it, and it's possible this is an older video because I don't follow Blade at all, but I had never seen the video before, and essentially Blade is passed out. On what looks like a cot. Like maybe he's in like a fold down bed in an RV. I'm not sure. His pants are around his knees and he's got underwear on and he is freely pissing himself. And <laughs> and someone is putting solo cups, you know. Can you like, see his like, penis peeing? No, no, no. Someone is putting solo cups, those plastic cups, underneath and right. catching <laughs> the urine. And one is already filled up. <laughs> and they're sliding a new one under there and, and catching and, and he's like it's steamy it's steamy oh. and he's like onto his third solo cup and and it's just running like from it's filling his underwear up and he's like passed running. out the whole time oh yeah yeah and i don't know if it was the same i i, I get linked a lot of this stuff and then and, but then i definitely found one of them on um the the public freak out thing then i saw He's passed out, and the guy smacks him in the face for a oh. donation. Like, slaps him pretty fucking hard in the face. And he jumps up, and he's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> you think it's funny? And he starts calling him the F word, and, and not, not, not fuck. And he starts just slapping the piss out uh. of this guy. Blade does. Blade starts slapping the shit out of him. <laughs> and, uh, and the guy's like, I was trying to give you some water. You don't want to be hung over, do you? And he goes, never. And then he starts slapping him some more. <laughs> <laughs> like he had this brief moment of clarity. You know I don't drink water. The <laughs> <laughs> vodka. <laughs> Man, every time you think like, well, this would be a rock bottom, right? It goes lower. Yep. <laughs> that toe looks like he's halfway to Mordor. Yeah, I'll what? Why did you? I, I scrolled away from it because I he sent it over, and I was just like, "What the fuck is? What is this?" I feel like a strong gentleman. wind would blow that toenail away. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. What's, like what's like that? when you take a dandelion and yeah, <laughs> make what a happened? Wish. Ugh, what Wait, is it healing? Do I no! see? Do it? No, no, I was, not no, no way. Yeah, I have a Dude, theory. There's no amount of chicken and kale <laughs> that's getting rid of this. I think the reason <laughs> that the other toenails are so that need attention so much is the belly. I bet clipping his toenails is a challenge. 
Where right. are you noticing oh, well, that's the gotta be a toenails here? To get to. I know. <laughs> Wait, when you yeah, it, you would I'm make in, a yeah. terrible doctor. <laughs> Someone's got like a harpoon through their stomach, and you're like, "Huh? All right, give me the soup." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need I'm gonna need 400 milliliters of soup stat. Don't worry, sir. Help is on the way. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, well, welcome to Matt Woodworth's, uh, <laughs> you know, herbology center. I'm gonna once again prescribe. A cup of blended kale. And he's like, I'm, I'm going through severe benzodiazepine withdrawals right now. A <laughs> little, little cup of kale that'll that'll turn you right. George you know, if you need to feel a buzz. Benzos, you say. Have you tried the broccoli soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> worry. This is awful. So, so this is a this is a this is the gentleman that we were just discussing. This is his toe, and it is a side effect of his alcoholism. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, wow. uh, so his and alcohol of choice is Jägermeister. Am I pronouncing Jägermeister. right? Jägermeister. And um, that's a, a heavy sugar thing. So he's just yeah. pounding sugar drinks all day long. And he has alcoholism combined with diabetes. Oh, my gosh. That's unbelievable. Yeah. If he, if he like, if he's not going to turn around the booze with at all, he at least needs like a seasoned 58-year-old booze hound to give him an intervention and be like, you don't got to get sober, but switch to vodka. You're drinking too much sugar. Like, even <laughs> well, that would be a market I mean, improvement. So it's, I mean, like, has a doctor not gotten a hold of him and been like, hey, if you keep doing this, you're going to die? They literally said, if if you keep this up, I, you might as well, I might as well take the foot now. Yes. Oh, fuck. Yeah. What? Dude, I love and having so, two feet. And he didn't stop drinking? Right. Um, no. Well, I mean, he, he said he was cleared home, to drink. So... <laughs> He couldn't Gosh. drink until he got back, but that's unbelievable. Yes, yeah, so that is unbelievable. Here's how it happened. He um, so he used to love video games. And he managed to turn video games into like a career, you know, a little YouTube thing going on. That's great. Yeah, and he loved drinking. And he managed to turn drinking into a career. You know, donate for a shot, donate for oh, this, and you know, donate for this embarrassing act, and uh, um, that just enabled the drinking to sort of spiral into something that got out of control. Yeah, I can tell you. I can't tell you how many people in this line of work over the last fifteen years that I've noticed have basically have become and, and no joke, they become alcoholics. They become addicted to alcohol and then had to go to rehab because alcohol reinforced their entertainment or reinforced the way they were entertaining. And um, most, thankfully, most of my friends have gotten out of it because they realized they were in a pit and they were like, "Oh shit, I got to pull myself out." Mm -hmm. um, but it's so super dangerous. There's just uh, that's it's one of those things that I I I I, I have a hard time conceiving of it because I'm not an, I don't have an addictive personality. So it's really hard for me to be like, oh, I get it. Yeah, I've been addicted mm -hmm. to this, and but I just don't have that. But you probably, it probably doesn't help them as much as they think. Where like they almost convince themselves like, oh, I need to be drunk to be funny, and then that's like a self fulfilling prophecy of like, right. oh, I you know they thought that was funny and I was drunk during that. Got to do it next show. It, it, alcohol is one thing, but I feel like. I a handful of people on YouTube or in Twitch or whatever, it turned out not to be a good thing. Like they didn't yeah. exit it with fame, fortune, and mental health. You know, right. it it feels like a huge win when you're growing up and you know you've had a level of success financially you've never seen before. Everybody loves you because everyone loves everyone on the uprise. And then it turns the other way and they weren't smart with their money. They're having a hard time dealing with the hate. And then just after the ride is over, that alternative universe where they just like finished college or something was a better life for them mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. the ride on YouTube or Twitch or what have you was. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. That's true in a lot of situations. Yeah. And everybody thinks that they would be good at dealing with, I, I want to say fame and fortune, but I, I recognize it's this Z level fortune for most people. It's lower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's still a level of attention that other people don't get, that other people have never had to deal with. And everyone <clears throat> thinks they'd be great at it, and a lot of people are not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so scary. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's it's so scary. It's, it's, it's again, and, and, and I, this took me a long time to conceive of this for myself, which was... Since I don't have an addictive personality, it's it's hard for me to empathize or sympathize with that because I I never get addicted to things. Uh -huh. So it's so it's weird because I and so I've had to really change my thinking about that and instead be like, oh come on, just you know, hey, willpower, buddy, and like it's not that. Mm -hmm. it, it ends up becoming like a real problem for people that, and it's in some cases genetic, in some cases it's disease. Uh, uh, I'm the opposite. And it's do you ever feel rough. addicted to stuff even like food though? 
where there's just like a snack that you're hankering for and like the addiction changes all the time some of those might be pork rinds some of those might be cheese its or you know uh, the <laughs> the, the, i think the closest i've gotten to that is like is mexican food <laughs> <laughs> uh, boogie you, you remember only use me blade right no oh, lord what ah, okay doing? call of duty oh. commentator his his shtick was you know you back in know the call blade? of duty Back in the Call of Duty commentating days, you know, we all people, some people had like shticks and bits and like things that made them special. Obviously, you know, people people did characters like Doctor Disrespect, or I mean, I did a character, and and some people did uh, like like mon some people were montage makers, some people were uh, commentary guys that their commentary outweighed the value of their gameplay to some extent. But I would put Woody in there. He had good gameplay, great commentary. You know, like like he's really engaging with the community. That was his thing. Well, only use me Blades thing was. I don't use guns, just my knife. And he would only melee and Call of Duty and and do fairly well. He'd upload his, yeah, yeah. He'd up, you know, we upload our good videos, right? But he'd upload really good gameplay of him just shank, shank, shank. And he's a real chill voiced guy. And he's just like, hey guys, Blade here. Um, you know, it seemed to have kind of a chill life, living a li taking it easy. Well, <clears throat> these days he's a he's a streamer. Um, uh, he's associated in some way with Ice Poseidon. I think he might be on his streaming network. I, I don't quote me on that, but he is a raging alcoholic with uh, with maybe pre diabetic, and um, his feet are rotting off. And um, he passes like out gangrenous. drunk a lot. Yeah. They're they're virtually gangrenous. Like they have open wounds on his feet. That stuff's not funny, frankly. But hmm. what is funny um, is this video <laughs> right oh, here. I know the video. Oh no! What, I actually uh, is this a, a new, a, a new thing. So I got a minute and thirty second cut. Um, so basically, he passes out drunk a lot, and he, and and everybody around him is one of these like shock streamers. I'll call them. You know, they're not necessarily vloggers. They're not. Their lives aren't all that interesting per se. But they're gonna get up to something, some hijinks. They're gonna make drama. They're gonna do something to make the viewers entertained. And so what they do when he passes out is they fuck with him. And so they painted his face like Pepe the Frog while he was passed out. And this is him. <laughs> yeah, right? Right? You got that, it. That, that's a good bit. Dude, and so this got is him. To show the, do you have the images of Pepe? And, uh, oh, um, I, I can find them in two seconds. They're in. Um, yeah, well, it's. They're in Larry's Discord, but I can't mess with Discord because I'm screen captured. <laughs> Apparently the ADL made Pepe the Frog a hate symbol. What a bunch of losers. Are you guys ready to watch this? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, yes. Three, two, one, play. Did you pay me or something? This is Rory. him waking up to what they've done to him. <laughs> He's saying... Not did you paint me? Dude, this, this like motherfucker did, yeah. doesn't have an just ounce of muscle on him. It's all just booze fat. You're such a faggot, dude. Oh, like, that's a mirror he just looked in. The biggest in the world. On the door. Like, I don't know what kind of fucking loser shit you guys are on to paint me, but fuck you, dude. Seriously. <laughs> He's skinnier than I thought. Yeah. Look at my fucking face. He's lost weight. Here's me, dude. You are, you're a loser, dude. Whatever money you made for <laughs> pay me now. I didn't pay make it. Pay me now. It did it free shit. Pay me now. Fuck. Pay me now, dude. Can we talk get about on, it? Get on your phone and pay me whatever money you made for your fucking loser ass stream, no content, bitch ass stream. Pay me now or get the fuck <laughs> off the phone. stream had dude. content. I, I just swear to God, dude. Okay, I'll pay you. Pay me now. Whatever money you made to paint me to look like a fucking clown, dude. Pay me now. Get on your phone, dude. Get on Blade, your phone. you're drunk, dude. That's my money. Pay me now. Blake, can you relax? Pay me dude? Now. No, no, fuck that, dude. I will. I look like a fucking clown, dude. Fuck you, dude. You look like Pepe <laughs> the Frog. Pay me dude. now. Pay me now, dude. Relax, dude. Get on your fucking phone and pay me right the fuck now, dude. <laughs> How much money did you make for fun? Paint me. I didn't make any money to paint you. <laughs> I have another video that's like far too long and we'd have to skip Jesus around in it Christ. but it begins with him not painted and they're just like pouring shit on him like I, it looks like shaving cream or whipped cream or something <laughs> they're just like he the other day i saw him passed out pants around his ankles underwear on and he's pissing himself in his sleep 
and they're just putting solo cups, like plastic cups, under him and catching the piss. I, that I saw that, and I didn't, I didn't understand where the pee was coming from in such a consistent stream. Well, he's pissing out of his underwear, so it finds the. It's like an icicle, you know. It finds the. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the lowest point of gravity, and then it it, it, it drips off. It comes, you know, it just flows. Okay, out. Then, all right, this is funny, yeah. <laughs> dude. Like Woody, you were saying, it looks like he's lost weight, and I love Woody's wholesome approach to it. You know, the reason that he's lost weight is that hard work and exercise. From, he's moved from the kind of alcoholic that eats sometimes to the kind of alcoholic that yeah. never eats. Like Chuck, <clears throat> all he does is drink. All of his yeah. calories are from booze. I've known like, a few. I choose doing. to believe that's George Foreman chicken and couscous. It's I've known a few <laughs> like extreme alcoholics, and that's the case. Like like they don't they don't really eat at all. Yeah. Like um the, the guy. How do you know <clears> my <throat> dad? <clears throat> my dad had alcoholics who worked for him, and I've talked about him before. I saw a funny video that somebody linked me like Kyle tells um dad stories or something. I sent it to my mm -hmm. dad. He loved it. he fucking loved it. And uh, and I was talking about some of those drunks that used to work for my dad. They were both kind of skinny because they didn't eat food most of the time. You know, it, you would ask him like we would see Chuck on the side of the road for, you know, 45, 50 year old white guy. Just, he's essentially homeless. He's living without electricity and stuff. And I'd be like, hey, Chuck, if you want a hamburger? We just went to McDonald's. We got a we got a bag full. We're taking him back over. And would you like one? Nah, man. Can you run me up to the liquor store, though? Chuck, it, and I want to be like, Chuck, have you eaten today? Because I know he hasn't. Like, he's not hungry. Mm -hmm. I I think that when you're that much of an alcoholic and you're, like, poor, that the idea of drinking on an empty stomach is, it's like bonus liquor. It's like you're making money if you don't oh, eat. Oh, yeah, it's like you're, you're getting drunk faster. You're getting drunk faster and harder and staying drunk longer because you, there's, no, there's no food in your system. It's just the alcohol. And, if I and get I, drunk on an empty stomach... I feel pretty terrible. <laughs> Did we talk about the video of Blade's legs on on any of our shows recently? No, but I did see a clip on the the subreddit of people pouring Jaeger into his open leg wound. Oh, oh but and I this? haven't seen this. Okay, so there's a YouTuber called Only Use Me Blade. Really chill guy. I uh, I knew him years ago. We got along. But um since then he's gone from making YouTube videos to live streaming. And one of the things he's found success in is drinking to excess. So people yeah. will donate for him to take more shots and he'll just get drunker and drunker. And they love to watch him be overly drunk. He has an alcohol problem, right? It, it is not a, like it's not a close call. He is clearly wait, an alcoholic. Wait, hold on. The guy who drinks for a living. Yes. Has an alcohol problem. I swear. It's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So he's like a legit alcoholic now who can't stop and it and, it's also his source of income, which makes it double hard to stop. Like, not only does he have this, what I'll assume is addiction, but he goes broke if he doesn't do it. Tricky. Yeah, most people who have addiction to alcohol, it costs them money. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so he's in a tricky spot. And it just costs him health. We've been watching yeah. his leg sores get worse. Propagate. Would you call it a year now, Kyle? Am I exaggerating? Uh, it feels like a year. Um, so he, he's he's got these leg sores. All right, these open wounds. On what his, are they from? We uh, assume some sort of alcohol alcohol related. He's heavy too. Situation. He didn't fall and scrape okay. his knee. Like like mm. like he's just like like the skid is just. I was wondering if this ship. was like Philadelphia sores. Yes. Oh well. Oh, oh but not literally AIDS. AIDS. But I mean, they they look comparable, yeah. right? I, I, yeah. Maybe I misunderstood when I said yes. But. I don't know if those were open. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, he's got AIDS. <laughs> no, no, no. I yeah. meant I just meant they were comparable visually. Yeah. yeah I, Is I there a the video? Tom, that, that you, I'm trying to yeah, find I, it. Yeah, okay. I, I'll get it. Um, you know, it, it's it's it's. Uh, why does he have open wounds on his legs? The, this is a question that, look, I'm very curious. He yeah. doesn't seem that curious at all <laughs> about why he has open wounds on his legs. He seems complacent. I, I feel like I'm a broken record because I keep going to the same place. How do open wounds getting worse, not just day after day, but like month after month, continuing to progress, not sound alarm bells for him? But he he has other priorities, drinking and such that that are bigger than these open wounds that are just getting hey, worse. Look, Woody, mm. priorities. Yeah. It's drinking, mm -hmm. subscriber count, <laughs> YouTube's new algorithm, mm -hmm. uh, weather. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to eat that night? 
Yeah, uh, food that night. Sleep? Somewhere near the bottom, uh, leg holes. New new season of Good Place. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Good Place. <laughs> and Open then gets my, yeah, my numb, tingly feet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a good show. It really is. Yeah, I like. I, have you I found the video? The first couple seasons. Style? I'm working on it. Okay, I'm, because it is. Yeah, it, it, I so really it's people pouring alcohol on. into the. Yeah, he's I'm, passed out. Um, probably not from alcohol, though, right? He was just tuckered, right? And sleeping. uh, and some guy who's also yeah. a uh, a live streamer of some kind just starts pouring Jägermeister into this big open wound on his leg and giggling about it. Does it does it boil up like hydrogen peroxide? No. Why don't they pour some hydrogen peroxide in it while he's sleeping? That's what I'd do. Right? Yeah. Like he falls asleep instead of pranking your friend by like drawing dicks, you just bandage his wound. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey guys, but then I'm you can draw a dick on the bandage. Yeah. I'm Bay Margera, and today we're going to prevent sepsis in my friend's leg. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to slap just, my dad's in the belly while he's trying to shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pranking someone by helping them heal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if they, they did some hydrogen peroxide, some neosporin, and bandaged it. Bandage it. Would it help? I don't at this point, know you need what's to go to causing it. And need to just eat. That's I'm the problem. To go to a doctor. Oh, I don't, yeah. I'm so he out of my to depth. Go to a doctor. Like, like if we it live was... in such a weird voyeuristic culture, where like I I wanted to you know as my YouTube is growing, I wanted to like collaborate with other YouTubers. Figure like that's a good that's a great way to grow your channel. And so, like, I reached out to a bunch of them, and, like, this one guy got back to me. He's like, yeah, I'd totally be down. I was like, okay, great. Let me look at his channel, get some ideas for what we could do together. And all he does is dress up like Spider-Man and get his ass kicked. Oh, cool guy. Hmm. That's his channel. So what's your what's role? What's it called? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my role, apparently, is to dress up like Thor. I don't know. Like I, I mean, you could kick or, his ass in regular clothes, maybe. You could dress up like Thor. I'd, I could be, I could be Thanos. What's this guy's be... YouTube channel called? <laughs> was... I don't I don't know. This was a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And I mean he was a nice guy. I feel I feel a little bit bad for making fun of it, but like that's what that's what's out there now where like people there are people who are paying to watch a guy drink himself to death. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's pretty Basically. good content. There's but <laughs> <laughs> I almost answered that seriously. But there's also <laughs> like there is gen there is more good content out there than ever before. Yes. There's so many good television shows. We don't have time to watch everything. And that, yet there are some people who are, you don't think so? I'm on the other side. Like I, I, I watch YouTube. Most of my entertainment time is spent on YouTube. And yeah. when I watch what I'll call fake TV, you know, that very few shows grab my attention. It, it, if, yeah, mostly I'm just like, oh, this is all scripted and there's actors. And that's, that's not my kind of entertainment anymore. Wait, is your television... Does your television have the mode where it looks like it's not television anymore? That's not it. Like, like, do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. But no, I'm just saying. Like, that fucking sucks. I turned it back. <laughs> I, I, television is obviously, it's fake. It's scripted. I'm talking about every show. Friends, Seinfeld, yeah, whatever. Fun. Okay. But my cup of tea has changed into like vloggers. Even boring ones are at least real. So you want to watch. Okay. Is that, is that because of porn preferences? Or like how did that? Jux, did that tie into it? Hex, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no, like, like legit, I, I, and, I, and it's not like they're my friends or anything, but I'll be like, oh, this guy. I like this guy. Let's see what he's doing today. And Let's see what old Pepperoni Nipples is doing. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I watched, he, he, we had guests on Sailing with Vagabond. I saw some other uplifting news mm -hmm. uh, a while back on our uh, Reddit that said that, uh, or it showed a post that Blade was cleared by his doctor to keep drinking. And I got so, a picture of his toes yesterday. Great. They are green. That yeah. doesn't sound right. Uh, I read it with the same bit of hesitation. <laughs> like, I don't think the doctor's like, yeah, go Hi, for it. Hi, Dr. Nick here. Would you like a cocktail? <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. What? What did, I don't believe can that. Can you give me the details on it? Like, is he act? In it was like a screenshot a of, of him discussing something with his chat and, you know, someone was saying something about, you know, a drinking stream or, or whatnot, asking a question. And it was him responding, saying, like, just got the AO, just got the OK. My doctor cleared me to drink. Mm. And meanwhile, there's like so many photos of his foot looking worse than ever. And yeah. I Kyle is, was right all along in that for I was I think 
Woody and I had a little too much faith in the change of lifestyle <laughs> approach to it. And chicken and green beans are not going to get him out of this hole. Yes, it will. Uh, I'm still no, it will not. It, the, the, ship but, is, the ship is over the Taylor, horizon. that is an un untested theory. I just imagine Woody on <laughs> D-Day, like, like running up to that Saving Private Ryan soldier who's like <laughs> holding his own arm. He's like, have you tried spinach? <laughs> <laughs> That's where that's where Blade is right now. He's standing on the beach holding his foot. He's hopping around. <laughs> Nutrition is not going to help this. He needs antibiotics. When he comes okay, over, okay. Shh, feeding him asparagus. Quiet, 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 quiet. <laughs> Give this eight to ten months. <laughs> yeah, okay, you might be right about the antibiotics and stuff. Like, I'm not saying that's wrong, but I, I still feel like, and again, I know nothing about this. But I'm, you know, on, on YouTube, if he would have just turned the lifestyle around, maybe throw some antibiotics in there, these wounds he has are not deep, based on everything I learned in the TV show Scrubs, that if he just <laughs> stops drinking, lives a healthier lifestyle, these are scabs. These are like the almost healed injuries. Right? Let's find uh, Kyle. Are you finding the most? I'm googling. Photos? I'm googling leprosy actually to show Woody that <laughs> it's not always the worst things aren't always like like deep wounds. <laughs> I would, I'm gonna Google that too. Ah, uh, you might not want to. I'm regretting it already. This guy's smiling while holding. Oh, what is he holding? Well, it doesn't look like I expected. This. These are all faces of leprosy. I want to see and fingers they've lost. Right, and some of these fingers though, they're old wounds. I need some current. Lepr I want to, I've seen some raging at leprosy. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I want someone who just got a little bit of the leper in them. <laughs> Earlobe? Man, if you get leprosy, you're such a fucking loser. <laughs> Why? Yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> Most no people Chad, don't get... No Chad ever got leprosy. <laughs> how, are, how do you get leprosy in the modern day and age? I don't know. I have no idea. Wow. Let's find. I mean, so Hanley it's and Armadillo funny. will do it. Leprosy doesn't look as bad as I expect. I, look, I, this science photo library picture that I'm looking at is making me feel like I'm wrong. But uh, that looks skin deep. That looks like you could cure it with a little asparagus. <laughs> so that maybe... looks a lot like what Blade has. Honestly, like, yeah. all right, look at the middle finger uh, on the, the hand that's to our right, mm -hmm. uh, this individual's left. Blade's toe looks worse than that. Let me. I don't know if you've seen like the most recent picture of his toe. It's yeah, green. they linked it in my um, witch dream the other day. We talked about okay. it in touch. I, just in case uh, Taylor hasn't seen it, I'll uh, I'll yeah, throw I'm, it in here. I'm looking for it. I found yeah, one. I got it right here. Uh, uh, yeah, if you click that. Oh, this actually isn't what I saw. Are we gonna watch this video? That oh, there's a video. The first one had a video. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Now tell me that doesn't look worse than what the leper has. It's pretty rough. Yee, mm. I don't like it. Are we uh, sure that's this? Blade? Yeah. Yeah. Taylor? Yeah. How much money would it take for you to suck that toe? And I mean... To draw upon it succulently. <laughs> draw upon <laughs> it succulently. For a, a good 30 seconds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and you swallow when you're done. It's bitter to quitters, Taylor. Yeah. I don't want to do it. I don't, even <laughs> like the, I don't like the accusation that he might not swallow. Blade uh. needs to need you, need you to get the poison out. Dude, oh it's going to be something absurd, like $50,000. I'm glad that you said a realistic number because there's so many jabronis out there. They'd be like, oh, like $8 billion. Like, no. You'd do it for fifty grand if you saw it stacked up. And I yeah. would, too. In one. There's something so about feel, seeing yeah. it. Yeah. When you see cash <laughs> money. Like, if you see money go into your bank account, let's just say a rudiment. Mm -hmm. If you see $5,000 go in your bank account, you're like, oh, good. Put it with the rest. That that's good. And that, that's a little bit of comfort there. Good. Five, mm. That's a lot of money. Good. 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 But if you see five thousand dollars and fifty sitting in front of you, it looks like it, it's such a completely different yeah. experience. Yeah. When when you see cash money, it's I've so always much gone different the other than, way. Actually, really? yeah. Well, like um, physical cash. Seeing that. If, if you know what ten thousand dollars looks like, doesn't look like much. 
it's like a couple in hundreds of, it's not much at all it's very thin yeah, yeah. I, like ten thousand dollars is, is that a hundred hundreds well it's only a hundred hundreds yeah. yeah yeah and i think those wraps tend to be 50 right the two of those little wraps and yeah it's not much at all like like, like even twenty thousand is just right pinch. yeah it's 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 obviously a lot of money, but I, I don't look at say ten thousand is a better one and see like you know half an inch of money. Yeah, it looks better in twenties. Like, like and that's mm. the other thing. Like, like if 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 it's in twenties, it's you're like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. That's it'd be two stacks like this in twenties. You know, and, now yeah. that you say it, the that I was at the bank and a guy deposited like five inches of money, and I was just like, I, I asked, I was nosy. I was like, how? It, it was it like four hundred something. Like it was, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't as much as I thought. Oh, uh, that's Billy. He works at Chippendale. <laughs> <laughs> he, I'm not sure. I. He looked like a landscaper. Like, you know. Okay. That's what he looked oh, like. You'd be surprised how many people don't lock their doors. <laughs> he looked like he worked like he worked pushing a mower or something. And uh, yeah. Anyway, I saw I. Now I'm going the other way because I saw that stack of what must have been singles and thought it was a lot. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks like a lot of money uh, uh, in in smaller denominations for sure. Uh, yeah, but 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 yeah, I I would suck I would suck his toe for fifty grand. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know a big part of the price for me is who knows, right? If 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 nobody knows, if even Blade keeps this secret. Then my price goes down a lot, right? He'll take it to the grave, right? Hey, Blade. On the Blade, other hand, can if, you keep a secret? <laughs> if we do this on a <laughs> live stream, my price goes way up, because it'll never stop haunting me. That never happened. No, nope. right? She sucked on his thumb. I'm no like Wonder Man at <laughs> uh, Wonder Man at uh, at reading signs, Uber but yeah. <laughs> but if a woman sucks on your thumb. She's kind of hitting it back, right? <laughs> it's been hit back, and now she's waiting for you to push it. Yeah. I mean, she was a big girl. Maybe he had some barbecue sauce on there. <laughs> I, they were a pair. You know, they were a match. Give her the old uh, salty thumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I do think Blade was, you know, like I said, he was the initiator. She was just hitting it back a little bit. And okay. uh, you know, certainly not any kind of like. She wasn't resisting in the slightest. She was just accepting his advances. Yeah. But he did know she was married. She was saying stuff like, you know, uh, my husband will be so mad. Or maybe not. I am really drunk. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> sure, I'll brush this off. Uh, See, I, that was her little phrase for to gain plausible deniability, where she wants to do this, but she's saying, oh, my husband, he'll be so mad. And so now if he continues to press, he's the bad guy. More mm -hmm. than her, when really it should be in her head. Would my husband be mad with this? Okay, well then I'm going to stand up and walk away, because that's totally within the confines of reality. Like you could have, you could have just done that. So it's like a little she subtle a passive pal. way. Yeah, it's like a passive way to throw your own agency out the window. Be like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't want that. Oh, he would, he would be upset. It's oh, we're going to do it situation. anyway. Okay. Could, like that's no joke. That exists forever. You know, like it, if 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 that was in my world, like I'd never trust her again. Like always, forever. Fifteen years later, I would be like, you know what? She gets out of my sight. She starts sucking on thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think you're totally right. Yeah, like, I agree. You, yeah, you're you totally right. Be able to yeah. trust him again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like they just said, like the baby back bitch she is. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine, like, like, look, my my thumb probably doesn't taste good right now. Like, I bet if I licked it, I would be like, "Ugh." You just you just lick your thumb. How's how's it taste? Salt. Salty, right? Yeah, you haven't washed your hands lately. Mine does I, not taste salty. I'm not I'm not, not licking mine. I, I don't want to get sick. I went to the grocery store. I I, I got delivery food. I I, no, just, no. I build up my like, collar resistance. No, I'm be not. Like I'm, our, uh, be like Ben. And just lick as many germs as you can, and get very sick. No, and, you know. I used no. to get sick three or four times a year, and like the the last couple years, I've taken a, a much different approach to washing my hands constantly and using lots of uh, hand sanitizer and never touching my own face. 
I don't touch my face and I try to keep my hands out of my mouth. Although I did like bite my nail about 10 minutes ago. So that's, that's probably not good. But, but yeah, I, 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 that's cut down a lot of the illness. I think washing my hands and not, not putting them on my face a lot. I don't, I don't want to get sick, but what I'm getting at is, is like, I wouldn't be confident that my thumb tastes good enough to stick it in a girl's mouth. You know what that I mean? That was New Year's Eve, right? Let's not pretend that that was prime blade thumb. That was not prime blade thumb. Um, like, like, you know, you smart mouth and, and you can be confident in your breath. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't just washed your hands. There's no smart thumb. There's no smart thumb. Okay. You know what? I watched a Gone Wild uh, gif today on Reddit and the girl's in an airplane bathroom and she sticks her finger in her asshole. Mm -hmm. And all I could think was... She's not going to wash that hand. She don't think she's right there in the bathroom. I, I, I don't think so. She, she, she stuck her whole finger in her asshole, and, and I guarantee she was like, all right, that's going to be a lot of karma, and then just went about her day. There is a, 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 a genre does. of porn where people stick their fingers in butts and then talk about how good they taste. And for me, it's like, you know what? Like, whoa, whoa, what? I think of myself as pretty hardcore, but you're taking me out of the moment. This well, is too much for me. See, there's a, there's a different, different stuff. Because thing. in the porno, they – no, it, it, he's not making that up. So, but, but see, in porn, <laughs> no, here's the difference to me. Here's where I see a big, like, separation. Mm. That's plain butthole. Airplane – that's airplane bathroom butthole, okay? Mm -hmm. She – she hasn't had time to prepare that butthole. That's the she New Year's Eve thumb of buttholes. That is the New Year's Eve thumb of buttholes. Like, like that is not a prepped butthole. She didn't just get out of the shower after like using an enema. She did. She wasn't on an all broth diet for the last thirty six hours to incent to to ensure <laughs> premium butthole cleanliness. No, like like that was airplane butthole. She just like got up early. Maybe maybe like had like a hot dog and some fries at, an, at one of those shitty overpriced airplane restaurants. And now she's boarding a plane with airplane butthole, and she's like, "Oh, let me go in the bathroom real quick, get some karma." Passed out. But. He has a blanket over his head, so the guy pees yeah. kind of on the blanket. But oh. I'm not sure if Blade is fully aware of what's happening because he's and like, then, uh, he's like, "Dude, and, what the you fuck?" Know, and he, he Blade does a real good job of making you feel like you're the dick socially, which I guess in this case wouldn't be a real hard trick. He's getting peed on, and then <laughs> after he like the guy stops peeing or runs out of pee, really. He covers the blanket up and continues to use it. And I, I don't know what, if Blade is fully aware of what's happening. Then they no, stole his not. teeth. Wait, he lost his teeth? Um, he had them so, stolen from him. He had his fake teeth <laughs> stolen. He lost his teeth many <laughs> moon ago. Okay, yeah. So, like, he's passed out. And first of all, they've already painted his face blue, like bright blue. And uh, But they, like, wedge his mouth open, and one guy reaches in and takes his teeth up out. Steals them and then holds them up like triumphantly, like got him. <laughs> like <laughs> Zelda music plays, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No, I didn't know about this. So his legs have gotten worse. I think the legs are fine, as oh, far really? as I know. But it's not that. It's that uh, that other issues have taken center stage. Mm. You know, the Perhaps. legs are still waiting in the wing for for next season or whatever happens. <laughs> so. his, last I heard is, or last I saw, uh, his toe was about to fall off. Hmm. That's where he was at the last time we talked to him. He poured okay. some Jaeger on that, and it straightened it right out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the caramelized sugar and I, alcohol. You know, you know, I joke. Like, like, believe, there's a video of them pouring Jaeger on his like rotten like like wounds. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you should. That can't like, be good for it. it. Like, it, it, maybe maybe try hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, that could work too. <sighs> cheaper. Probably is cheaper it. too. And yeah, that I, ship has sailed. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it, I think his leg and his toe have actually improved, but um, his teeth are on the decline. And his, when he was on this show, he had been sober for like 10 days, he said. And uh, he was, you know, pretty with it. He was the Blade, you know, Blade from back in the day. Like he was, yeah. he was great. Um, but he was also saying stuff like, I'm just taking a little brief time off from drinking. I'll be back at it. And that wasn't encouraging. And Getting back at bad. What I don't understand is, and I see this all the time on Twitch. I mean, I get that he likes to drink, right? And I get that that's his thing that he does for money at this point. But couldn't you just fake it? Like people do that all the time on Twitch, especially, um, you know, like female streamers and stuff. Like I'm not gonna name names, but I know people who do drinking streams that mm -hmm. it's not real. It's not real alcohol. Like couldn't he uh -huh. just 
Well, it, it seems like, I mean, he, he told us, he's like, well, it's more of a streaming thing than a drinking thing. But I think the reality is it's more of a drinking thing. Yeah, that must be it. He uses uh, the streams as a way to almost, you know, enable justify. and facilitate it to yeah. be like, well, if I don't get blackout drunk again, how am I going to stream? How am I going to make money? I have to, well, you know, if I wasn't streaming, uh, I wouldn't be doing this, but I am. So here we go. You know, yeah. that, that would be my guess. Like, like, I think I'm an amateur drinker. I know I'm an amateur drinker. Um, but, but Taylor, like, how many times in your life have you gotten as drunk as it seems that Blade gets, like, almost on a nightly basis? Like, like how many times have you gotten just fall into a pile, go piss in a closet, drunk? Jesus Christ! I've never pissed in a closet. I, I know. Um, I'm just using that as like, like you know, like a reference. N- not in a very long time. Like when I was younger, and even th- now. I was. I wasn't even. I made it to bed and fell asleep at PK one hundred and forty just fine. Nothing yeah. happened. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really remember the last time I got so drunk I was falling <laughs> down. I would. I can't re- recall the time I've been so drunk I would not know and react with fury if someone began pissing on me. Yes, that, that would snap anyone right back to sobriety. Like you're pissing on me right now. Like the the animal brain gets going and it ticks right. or something. Like. Well, I feel I almost know. obligated to fight at this point. You can't pee on me. Like it, yeah. you can't pee on me. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just give, let's give this a go. Here we are. Yeah, I think Blade mm-hmm. could take. I I don't know. Blade's bigger, but I, he just doesn't look. He has any muscle. I, I, right? Yeah. But well, he mean, he doesn't need any protein. Doesn't either. look like. I haven't won every <laughs> fight. <laughs> you know, calories. like sometimes you lose, but you can't just get peed on. No, you yeah. can't. Then they yeah. keep doing it. Then you get then shit they, on. Then they keep doing it. <laughs> they keep doing it. They, 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 next, they shit, shit on you. you yeah, know? next, they're, they're, they're gonna amp it up until you wake up, man. <laughs> but yeah, he, he was like, he was a level of drunk in that where it's like, if someone is around, like, and they're that drunk, you start almost, you start worrying. You know, with Blade, yeah, it'd be yeah. different because it's like, okay, he gets this drunk every night for the most part. This is what he does. But like, Kyle, let's say you're throwing a little party, a little shindig. And there's someone there. It's 1115. You're ready for everything to go. Someone's that wasted. You're annoyed. But part of you is also thinking, I hope he's okay. And like, I hope he doesn't die or, or on my even, couch. He doesn't vomit even, and choke on my nice couch. Or add even more like, I don't know, potential culpability to it and make it a girl. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like there's a girl at your house who is so fall down drunk that she hasn't noticed that I've peed on her. <laughs> I'm I'm worried for her now, you know. Now I'm concerned. Now I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a, this happened a few years. Oh, at this point, probably almost five years ago, and I was hanging out with a few buddies of mine, and he had. This is when I lived near the city, and the stairs to get up to my place and my loft were incredibly steep, not safe to be carrying a person, we'll say. And they came back to my place end of the night, and everybody was wasted, and so I was like, all right, everybody just pick a couch and fall asleep. My buddy, he's like, dude, I, I don't want to put my sister to bed yet. She will vomit. Like, I know we're all tired, but we kind of have to be vigilant a little bit. That turned into me sitting and like kind of paying attention to her while they were more falling asleep. And she started like while laying on the side of my couch, started doing like in her sleep, like, huh, huh, huh. I was like <laughs> boys, boys, awake, away. <laughs> but before like I could fix anything, she vomited all over my fucking couch. Fuck that. It was like three in the morning. And these two buddies of mine who were also stumbling around drunk were like, it's okay. We'll carry her out the, down the stairs, get her home in an Uber. And like, they got her like not a light girl to the top of the stairs. And they were about to walk down a 45 degree angle of Ooh. stairs. And I had to tell them like, guys, she is going to, you're going to drop her and she's going to die. And yeah. there's going to be a dead person at the bottom of this stairwell. My like, stairwell. <laughs> and then, yeah, my stairwell. The next morning, one of them was like, Taylor, did we try and walk Stephanie out of here? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, oh, 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 woo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they would have absolutely slipped and, and she could have died. But yeah, yeah, it is that, all that to say it's fucking annoying when someone vomits in your couch. Did she vomit? What kind of what kind of material is this couch? Is this leather or microfiber? It was microfiber. Oh, fuck. What did you yeah. do? I had to go on YouTube and come up with and, and watch different videos of like club soda mixed with other stuff until I eventually scrubbed enough to get it out. It didn't and work, did it? There was still a, a smell. It was never back to 100% and no. that couch has been thrown away. Yeah. And it sucks because yeah. it was a nice one. It was one of those couches where like uh, 
you know, and it wasn't, it was like a love seat, you know, where in the middle they have the two cup holders and the little thing where you can put stuff. She yeah. was more like just curled up on one side of it and vomited onto that side of the, mm. the armrest. I would have Get walked down behind, in between the, the cushion and the armrest. Okay. I'd have immediately jumped up, ran behind the couch, grabbed it, and like flipped <laughs> <laughs> jumped her out of it. Just jumped her out of it on the fucking floor. Like, if, if, if there's no way, if, if you are prone to vomiting in your sleep, then you can't sleep on my couch. I didn't know at the time. They I told to, you. Uh, they told you she's going to vomit. It was too late. It was too late. Like, I, what am I supposed to do? Well, I, I probably should have just put her on the, the floor, honestly. What you actually do if someone is going to sleep the and there's someone who's prone to vomiting in your sleep, for, you definitely put them on their side. And then you take a like a, a garbage bag and you put it over their head and you secure, secure it with like a rubber band around well, the it neck. it comes with the drawstring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can use the drawstring, mm-hmm. but sometimes that slips off. Sometimes they're able to claw at it. It should be... And, Watertight or airtight, definitely watertight, mm-hmm. definitely watertight. Yeah, I see where you're yeah. heading. Now you've got a, you've got an even bigger mess to clean in the morning.